Welcome to BioStream 360. I'm Owen Ambrose, and today I'm hunting for chicken. It's early fall here in New Jersey, and it's the perfect time of year to find chicken in this deciduous woods habitat. I see some over there. Here, hold the camera. I'm gonna go and get it. There it is, chicken of the woods. Now, I'm sure you were thinking I'd be hunting the animal chicken. And unfortunately, here in New Jersey, we don't really have that many wild chicken animal birds. But what we do have is a highly sought after edible mushroom called chicken of the woods, Latiparus sulfurius. And today's lesson is gonna focus on some things about that fungus. Before we get into the lesson, let's take a look at what I have. So you can see, I have a dead branch here, or dead trunk, and on that trunk, we have bursts of this fungus growing all around. Again, we're in early fall, the leaves are beginning to change color, they're beginning to fall from the trees, and so that's the perfect habitat for this fungus, chicken of the woods, to really explode and reproduce and spread throughout the forest. Now, let's talk about the name really quickly. When I say chicken of the woods, I'm using its common name. And that common name comes from the fact that it looks like raw or cooked chicken breast, depending on where in its life cycle it is. It actually tastes like chicken breast when cooked. So I'm actually gonna bring some of this home with me and go through a little cooking uh, experiment with it. On top of that, it has a scientific name, Latiparus sulfurius. That actually has to do with the reproductive structures of this fungus. So, when we look on the bottom here, you'll notice that it doesn't have gills like most of the mushrooms that you may think of when you think of the word mushrooms. Instead of gills, it has what we call pores. So this is a polypore mushroom. On the bottom, it has many pores, and those pores release spores, and those spores go on to make mores mushrooms. So, polypore latiparous, sulfurious. When I say latiparous, I'm saying it has a lattice of those reproductive pores. Now, I'll do some close-up shots when we go home, but you'll see what I mean when I say lattice of pores. The sulfurious part comes from the fact that it has that sulfuric greenish color to it. And depending, again, on its stage in the life cycle, it could be more green, yellowish all over, or more orangish or more washed out. This specimen is just about prime. It's a little bit washed out on the top, but that's because we've had a lot of rain lately. So this should be really good to eat. But I have a question. If I'm going to eat this mushroom, does it mean that I become a mushroom? Now we've all heard the saying, you are what you eat. And if I eat it, that should mean I do become it. Now, of course not. We know I'm not a mushroom person just as you're not a whatever you just ate person. But here's the thing. We have to think a little bit further. This organism spends its entire life growing only on decaying wood. The fungus, the adult fungus at some other place from another specimen released its spores. They landed at some point on this wood here and those spores took hold of the wood grew into mycelium, which is the actual fungus body structure, and that mycelium spreads throughout the wood. It releases digestive enzymes, and those digestive enzymes then allow it to suck in and absorb the components that the wood were made of as nutrients. Think about what I'm saying. This organism has lived in this wood for its entire life, has never left this wood, has never eaten anything other than the wood. So how could this organism not just be made of wood then? It seems like a simple question, whether or not you really are what you eat, but it's actually kind of complicated. And that's where this bio stream is going. I'm gonna take some of this chicken of the woods home, I'm gonna eat some, 
And on top of that, we are going to see if the chicken of the woods really is what it eats. And if it is, is it really a fungus or is it a plant? We'll get to that in the next part. This is BioStream 360. I'm Owen Ambrose and I can't wait to show you where we end up next time.